Brock with PDQ, and this is episode seven of our PDQ Connect Getting Started series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at variables and custom variables inside of PDQ Connect. Okay, let's go ahead and hop in, and I will show you the magic you can do with custom variables. All right, so once you're in PDQ Connect, look into your console here, we're going to go down to our more option down here. You see we have this new option available called variables. We'll give that a click. Now what you're gonna see here, if you haven't been in here before, you're gonna see all of the uh, pre-built variables that are system variables included with PDQ Connect. The PDQ team uses these to build groups and uh, perform a whole bunch of other functions, okay? Uh, now though, we can actually create our own customs, custom uh, variables. You'll see the custom ones here. So let's kind of go over some of these things. So first, let me show you how you can kind of differentiate. If you want to quickly find the ones built by PDQ, I can type in PDQ up here and that's just going to filter out all of the PDQ created variables. Okay, let's go ahead and remove that and let's change that to custom. And here you can see the uh, two variables that we've created for this demonstration. What's cool is you can actually use all of the variables here, even the ones that are built by PDQ for your own groups and whatnot. So we can go through and let's look at app name Adobe Reader. Okay, we can see the value right here, Adobe Reader built by PDQ. So you can quickly identify what the variable is referring to, the value it's referring to. Let's scroll down here. We'll find some uh, version variables. Go to the next page. You can see we've got quite a few that we use down here. 367, that's including our couple of custom ones that we have. So here you can start seeing some uh, app version variables. We have app version audacity, 3.4.2, okay? And these, these variables are updated by us. The PDQ built variables are constantly updated by our team here. So this number as a new version of audacity comes out, that number is gonna be increased automatically. Okay, but custom variables, go back to our first page, anything custom that you create, you're gonna have to manually uh, update, okay? So now let's look how we can use these things. A couple cool ways to use them. We'll go to our devices tab here and we're gonna create a, let's start by creating a folder. Create a folder and we will call it Opera. Okay, now that we've got our folder created, let's create a group. We'll call it Opera installed and it's gonna be a dynamic group. Okay, now our filter here we're going to filter for software name contains. And you see at the right side here, we have a variable button that says add variable. So we can click on that button. And now we can actually search that entire list of variables right here in this filter. And this is the one I'm looking for, app name opera, okay? And you can actually see if you hover over the name right there to the right side, you see that it says opera stable. So that's showing you the actual value of what that variable is. We'll click that and then we will create. Okay, now here's our group that we just created and you can see all the computers. We can hop into Ang right here. We'll go to software and sure enough, Opera Stable is installed, okay? So let's go back out to our devices and we'll create another group and we'll call this one Opera latest, okay? Make it a dynamic group. This time we'll do software name contains and we'll use that same first variable and we'll add a second filter for the version. So software version equals, click on the variable button again, look for opera and you'll see this one right here app ver opera okay and you can see again at the right side the latest version is 105.0.4970.34 okay that is a mouthful so instead of typing out that we're just going to click that click create now this group is going to show us the latest versions of oh, which computers have the latest version of opera installed and now that what we can do is since we created that folder we can just take this we'll drag it up here towards the top to our folders drop it right into the Opera folder, and we'll grab that other one as well. So Opera installed, and we'll drop it right there, okay? We can open up that folder, 
we can see Opera installed, Opera latest. Again, I could continue, I could go, I could create one uh, that has uh, Opera missing. I could create another group that has uh, old versions of Opera installed. So the, the beautiful thing about these variables is you can go and create as many groups as you want. And then instead of having to go through and update each individual group, changing the name or changing the, uh, the version number every time there's a new version out, all you have to do is change that one variable. In this case, you know, that's a PDQ variable, so we're gonna change it for you. But you can do this on your custom variables. You can just change that one variable number and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and create a couple custom ones real quick. So we'll click on create variable. You'll see it automatically includes the dollar symbol, which is what we use to identify variables in PDQ Connect. So we'll call this one app name pick pick. And the value is just gonna be pick pick. Hey, that's the name of a screen capture software we have installed on some of our machines. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, now this is literally how easy it is to create variables. I click create. Sure enough, there it is, app name pick pick. Okay, all right, so we'll hit, we're gonna create one more variable for pick pick. So we'll click create variable. This one's gonna be app ver pick pick. And the value I checked today, the latest version is 7.2.5. We'll click create on that, okay? So now we've got our two variables right here. Let's go ahead and create a, uh, a group. Back to our devices tab, click create group. Okay, the name of the group's gonna be Pick pick, we'll do latest. Be a dynamic group. Go back into our filter so software name contains. And again, click that add variable button. We'll search for pick pick. And here are two variables. First, we're gonna start with the name. And then we'll add another filter. Software version equals, search for that second variable that version variable we created. And again, you can see that value off to the side, that 7.2.5, okay? We'll click that, we'll click Create. Here you go, I've got two computers with PicPic installed that are on the latest version. Okay, and we can test that out. We can actually say, we can actually remove this and update the group. And you can see that we've got more than that installed in our environment, okay? So that's how you can use custom variables. I mean, they're super, super easy to create and they save you so much time in the long run, okay? I mean, really, this is this is one of those times where your future self is really gonna thank you because it's just gonna save you a ton of time. All right, this is normally the part of the video we, where we would ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and today's no different. So go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our Discord uh, server. We've got a ton of great people out there to answer questions and help everybody out. Again, thank you for watching the video, hanging out with me, and uh, for PDQ, I'm Brock. <laughs>